my name's Kip Hayes. Welcome along to this video. Now today we are looking at my microscope. Now you've seen my microscope being used in several videos now and I do love it and I'll put a link to the video where I set it up. It'll be up in that corner. As much as I love it, it's a bit annoying because it's quite hard to store. Now see that is the sort of overall view of it. I've had to zoom out a bit so you can see a bit of a mess on my table but yeah, it's a little bit unwielding, and because I don't use it all the time, I usually just have it on the floor next to me, which isn't ideal. So I was thinking if there could be a better way to improve how this operates, and I think I've come up with something. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you my thinking, and we can see if it actually works. Now, I haven't tried it out previously. This is all new and I'm showing you it in real time so it might go wrong but I think I think I've got it right here so this piece is basically the microscope here and this is the screen and then the rest of it is the sort of adjustment arm and I've got these lights that I use which are embedded into the base but I think we could make it a little bit better so I was thinking maybe I could put this bit onto a sort of What's the word of... Hi, this is Edit Kip here, and the word I'm looking for is articulating. Articulating. An arm, and so when I want to use the microscope, I can just pull it in, look at it, and then once I'm done with it, I could just move it out of the way. I did think about trying to get something 3D printed, which might work, and that's something I might still try, but to be honest, I don't have the technical know-how or a 3D printer. So yeah, that's a little bit far off the line. But basically, if we unscrew these screws here and then take off the lens screws, what we have is sort of this piece here. And so we can put something here to hold it in position, but we still need to be able to access the focus wheel there and then it could hold it on the arm. I have picked up this from eBay and it's basically a microphone shock arm. And you put this into a boom arm and then you put your microphone into there and you can squeeze these and adjust the size. I did a quick measurement of the size of the microscope end and would you Adam and Eve it, it fits in beautifully. Just tweak it a little bit so you can get access to the wheel for focusing. So there, we've still got access to the wheel. It's not as good. See, there is access there so we can spin the wheel. And it's not a permanent damaging thing, so I could still put it back into the mount. Now, talking of the mount, I still want to be able to use the lights on here. So I think all I've got to do is unscrew this bit here and basically I'll be left with a flat panel and the lights and the little clip. And so basically all I've got to store is this flat panel with the light. And because the lights go down fairly flat, it's not too much of an issue. So I think this idea has got leg. So I've got a boom arm here. This is one of my road ones. This is a spare one. Now the only problem is this requires a bit of a weight on this end so you can sort of move it in position without it springing back upwards because that's why I've got this cable tie on here at the moment because if I let it go it will just way because it's sprung loaded. So you need a good amount of weight on here to um, keep it balanced. Now I don't know if the weight of the microscope and that boom arm is going to be enough we might actually have to add some more weight, but you don't need one of these expensive boom arms. Amazon sell all kinds of cheap boom arms that clamp to desks and will probably do the same thing, but I'm just basically using what I've got here. So this end goes into the desk clamp like that. And this end is where we will put the microphone mount or as it's now become the microscope mount. And yeah, I can just put it on a corner of my desk like over there and swing it in when I need it and swing it out when I don't. So the only downside to this idea is the power. Now you see at the moment, this is 
where the power plugs in for the little lights. And then there's a sort of controller here that turns on and off the lights and adjusts the brightness. And then it sort of splits off into this micro USB connector, which then powers the microscope. So effectively, I'm going to need two power supplies, but I don't think this cable that comes with it is long enough to go along the boom arm. So basically I'm gonna need a power cable to power the microscope and a cable to power the lights. So that is a bit annoying that I've got to find two USB outlets to plug into, but I do have something on my desk that I can use. So yeah, I think that's the theory of it all, but will it work? So I guess what I've got to do is do a little bit of pottering and see if it works. So, um, hmm, let me put it all together now. <laughs> I might be onto something here. I'm filming with my mobile phone, so you can see me. Hello. But that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'm impressed. See, I don't even really need the um, base unit with the lights. I mean, I can still build it. But that looks pretty cool. The only problem is, is the wobble. If the desk wobbles slightly, the arm wobbles. Now you'd think with it being in a shock mount, that wouldn't be such a problem, but it does seem to be a problem. So I don't know whether I need it in an actual non-shock mount. I don't know. I definitely think this is a good proof of concept. I think what we really need is something that goes directly around the microscope and onto here, and we could just lose this thing altogether. But I think it's a good start because when you don't want to use the microscope anymore, you can just turn the power off, he says, yep, goodbye, and then just swing it out of the way. And you know, you could even just lift it high out of the way, it doesn't really matter, and it's not a problem anymore. And then when you want to use it, you can just bring it down, and there you go. So I think I'm onto something, but I think it needs a little bit more work. Now I did say about just getting the base, so I think I'm gonna do that now. So uh, one moment please, I'll be back when I've sorted out the base. Okay, so I'm back and we've got a slightly uh, evenly lit scene now. So there we go, I've separated the base and uh, yeah, it's using the light. And so there's a sort of nice metallic base to solder onto. And there's our screen. I think it's good enough for me to use. I don't know, it's a bit of a funny one. I think what I'm gonna have to do is use it and see how I go. I've got a few little bits and bobs to do under the microscope, which might be coming up in future videos. So, hmm, I think what we need is something that isn't in a shock mount because that is what is wobbling, really. This is the actual mount that comes with the microscope and it would be really good to have something like this and then go off to a fitting for a boom arm, maybe. That would be really good. But I think this idea has got legs. I just got to work out the next stages. So if you've got any ideas on how it could work even better, then please do put them in the comments. But I think this is a good way of storing my microscope when it's not in use. And I think because it's then easier to sort of get into the scene, I will use it more. But yeah, the little way it connects here just needs a bit of tweaking. And I think I'm gonna open the comments to anyone who can help or suggest something. Now, I definitely think something 3D printed might be the way forward. Interesting. Well, there you go. That's a good start. And hopefully we'll be able to refine this idea a little more in a future video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.